as Peach has been playing today, you must close it out yes, on this yeah. note. Way too crisp. Win or lose, got to stick to the guns. I respect it. And here it is, man, after all these years, after all these big tournaments, small tournaments, new games coming out, new players, new regions entering the fray. It is still white. It's still Ling. It's still you and me here at Grand Finals at a Connecticut tournament. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Nothing, it, it, the script could have written it be, like itself better, man. Having this matchup here for Grand Finals, just what an incredible story this run has been from Link so, so far. So true, so and true. If it, if it would end on a crazier note than anything, Light's win record against Link is very in favor of Light. There's no other way to put it. But if the way that things have gone today, yeah. <laughs> this could be If there the was day. ever a day to do it. <laughs> Their record, lifetime, obviously a lot to a little Light favored. However, Historically, very Ling favored, then kind of even, and then just light yeah, for throw, the last several years. It's been throw tough. Throw logic out the window. Man, like, it just anything you could think of in right. the past, Ling is built different today. Like, just the way that he's been playing, it's been immaculate. One thing that light does very well is every time Ling tries to pressure on shield with down air, because he loves using down air, right. he gets him with up smash yeah. every single time. That and back air is going to connect there, too. Ling's got to be able to play around that if he wants to go ahead and get this W. I was going to say, sometimes the back air still work, too. Peach not the heaviest, so those back airs will probably kill when light needs needs them to. It's just perfect, perfect timing. The one thing I did like and I want to point out is Link crouched under some of the back airs that we saw earlier. Very smart, nice adaptation. Oh, okay. That should have worked. I think Light just, just maybe scouted it out. I think so. Like, he was he was expecting something. Like, uh, air dodge down or whatever, but the fact that he didn't get that, that, that gets in your head a little bit. Fourth throw on Fox, bait, maybe? Nah. No, okay. Still not enough. Yo, he's doing something different with the turnups today. I don't know what what, like, wasn't that Johnny Rockets? But he's going crazy. 46 and the bomb. All right, well, okay, yeah, just yeah. go ahead and throw it out of the way because he's not going to let you get that. He no. has invincibility. And he's got the shine, too. Like. Granted, that is, let's see, that is two bombs. Yes. That we're up to, I think, three or four Mr. Saturns. And at least six stitch, uh, stitch faces. Just on stream. And almost a stock. Hey. And a stock indeed. 49% at what? that on link. What a nice little partridge in the pear tree for your story there. <laughs> <laughs> so we got two stocks to one Ling with a lead, which is probably like this is the Cinderella story of the tournament for sure. Yeah. yeah making I, that run through winner or making the run through losers after dropping the winners. Still keeping it close. But obviously Ling's hands are hot. Coming fresh off of three really good wins. But light is light, man. I, I, I love how competitive is this right now. And I yes. love how uh, light is still he's still leaning and he's still putting as much pressure as possible because right. if there's something we've he needs always to. said he needs to yeah, do that the way Ling is playing right now he might close out this game number one in favor of himself nine percent to 99 what up smash actually kills fox here okay but fox has the combos light definitely does too a nice little cinch with the back air okay fighting over center stage right now big nair into the nair he got the jump here. back Ooh. oh he tried to catch the z drop into yeah. the bear but Trading with the bear on his way out. There's your jump. You catch him with the dash tag. That might no, no good DI coming in from Light. Okay. Wow, like the use of the nair. Speaking of, Ling with one last nair to take the first game. It's going to be a long night. But that is a good way what to start it. What the hell was in that Johnny Rockets? I'm saying. A veggie burger built I different. Sh I should have went to Johnny Rockets. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Full disclosure, don't actually know if he ate at Johnny Rockets. <laughs> Just seemed like a funny restaurant to name. <laughs> I, you said it so. I know. You yeah, said no. it so confidently. That's I my believe shtick. it. Yeah, I just, you know, just lie. You know, actually, just with confidence. Just, just for this timeline, I'm gonna believe for a fact that he definitely ate Johnny Rockets. Mostly because I don't want to seem like I got mixed that hard. Yeah, that's fine. So, Sorry. game number two here, Ling going and getting the first game. This is not unfamiliar. He does get some rounds on, but usually, but Light will close it all the way out. But. That time it worked. Yeah, I'm saying that. Honestly, I think the first time it should have worked too. Like just the aerial came out a little too late, got auto canceled. But okay, big combo here. Nice air dodge, but that's basically just a frame trap anyway. So you're mm -hmm. gonna get hit with one move or the other. Now one thing that uh, I was starting to allude to, and then Link just went and went around. Right. But like light has always been a necessary evil for Link. In order oh, yeah. to find your way into the next level, you have to eventually beat that demon that is just been constantly keeping you out of the top, that first place position, especially as often these things two fight, right? So if Link can start to actually make adjustments against Light, especially after what we've seen today, we're going to see him continue to level up, but that was so an amazing true, so call true. there with the up air. Nice response from Ling, but bro, I could tell, we could sit here all night talking about the lore of Connecticut Smash. Ling Ling is very comfortably the best player in a long, for a long time. Yep. But Light motivated him in a totally different way. Like, 
just showing up, surpassing him, and now just for a long time beating him. It's definitely tough, and we can see the adjustments he's making. He's trying to get back to that perfect form, of yeah, course. Back in the days of Lights Lucina. Like, hey, that, what a throwback that was I'm when so we saw that come out at <laughs> Summit. It yeah. was like, wait, <laughs> we remember this. Yeah, what the heck A lot this? of us, <laughs> look, okay, this King's what, Games. one of the two of us on no, this King's desk Land, maybe yeah. got JB3 by that Lucina yeah. at one point. Um, so AG. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, AG. Wasn't me, wasn't me, wasn't me. Uh, yeah, no, it definitely me. Uh, so that. Light <laughs> definitely looking like he has warmed back up as we continue yes. to talk about this. Getting a little filler, trying to give people some more about this. But Light has woken up and is continuing to smother Ling yeah. repeatedly. He said no time for filler episodes. We're getting right to the action. Three straight stocks, it looks like. It just might be. That pillow is going closer and closer now. Like, no, no, shush, 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 yeah, shush. Your, no, run, no. your run was great, but let's just. Yeah, yeah, you had a good. Yeah, let's you, go to this. Go, go to this. Let's go to 11. Now. It's okay. Like, we got to drive home. Wake up, up smash. I'll give you one for the fans, but, like, I got to go. <laughs> For content. Now, that was really good. That was an incredible adjustment from Light uh, in that game number two. There, he's like, all right, look, I'm, but, I'm gonna pump. The, I'm pumping the brakes. Right. Everything you have been doing, it's cute, but I'm not letting you do it to me. Right. And Ling, I, not look, the Xeno Saga music. Wait, no, Xeno Saga. I like Xeno Blade is what I don't like. That's right. That's still. I'm sorry. That's still a music counter pick in favor of, of Light too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I forgot. Xeno Saga, great event. Go to it. Xeno Blade, debatable <laughs> quality of game. <laughs> That was sick, by the way. That's uh, a mix I've ever seen one. So good. Also, something I want to talk about. One of the fastest. Did I not say it? You did. I didn't want to believe it. One of the fastest bands, too, from Light. So we're going to end up on Small Battlefield, and we're going to get the King DDD from Ling. I knew it. <laughs> Tell them about it. Tell so the thing with this King DDD, this is not a throw by any means. Anybody who's wondering. Now, granted, it's currently looking like a throw. But this DDD, in the last uh, at least like three to four times that they've met in the weekly brackets and grants, or winner's finals too, has gone to game five. And Light historically does not like this character, like at all. He hates King DDD. So, true? <laughs> so, this is Whoa. definitely something that can work if you can find enough openers. That's if you can avoid getting juggled by Fox in the first place. Yeah, this is definitely one of those matchups you have to kind of eat the 50 or whatever, 50, 80 probably, and just uh, then start playing the game. And I think that's what we're seeing here. 134 already from those Fox combos, and then Link says, all right, now I will plank. However, he's dead. You don't have to worry about that. Fade away jump, trying to get away from him, making the back air look like an actual kill move. But right, right. Okay. And now that downer in this matchup is so good on full right. hop because you catch him on downer, you fall, you just track him right back down, and you just keep that pressure going because DDD just can't get out of it. Uh, not the best air dodge. Like the idea, just test, st stack on some percent. Very interesting interaction, but yeah, that uh, the stuff. armor coming through. Okay, so. Everything I said before, let's throw it in the trash, okay? Normally, this DDD does really good in these matches. Today is not that day. Light, <laughs> Light also the kind of person and the kind of player to think to themselves after that first game, like, hold up, I got to show them how it's done, right? Like, yeah. that first game's not going to happen anymore. I'm going into game two, and I'm going to put on a clinic, and then game three, of course, pick King DDD, you got to show them. You got to let the fans know. Ling, though, has something to say. Gonna break it up yeah, up, with up, that up tilt. That up tilt, such a good anti air. For such sure, an for amazing sure. option. Just Powerful, being able to do that. Out here, look like a Mario character. Yeah, for sure. All right, that up smash not gonna take it. No rage and a big DDD only at 117. He is keeping these Gordos completely yeah. away, too. Any, like, sometimes Gordo's really good on your way back because it'll catch someone oh, pressing the button too quick. Oh, he almost had that. Could have been good. Could have been good. It could have. It was, now though, looking for the near up smash. Oh wait, wait is a light and uh, maybe wait looking a looking a little too much. I mean, up to up air. Could, actually, maybe not here on small battlefield. But right, like like the idea of the pivot grab back air not going to kill. Lang taking another scenic route back to the stage. Oh, back air is not connecting. Oh, that's a big punish yeah. right there. Yeah, the in the command grab is really good against a lot of characters, but in that situation, not so much. Giving him the free punish and light moving up now two games to one. DDD came out as that pocket pick. It has, I, I know people probably don't believe me after that one, but it has worked in the past. But the way that light is playing right now. Just sucked like, the back air closer. True. That's not made, what you made want. Made it easier. Like, okay, help me win my position. Bro, <laughs> I'm saying. This has been a wonderful compilation of of light reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, is she king on my DDD? I'm sorry. All right. Go, uh, going wait, into, wait, what did you just say? Go, Pause. Going to Cal <laughs> <laughs> All right. Going to Cal for game four. <laughs> 
So this is a classic one here too. Yes, the we've seen this plenty of times. Yeah. Talk, tell them about it. Talk. Both of them love this stage a whole lot as I continuously still look across to like to the side, wondering what in the world what what AG is on about with that last statement. But this this is definitely Light's favorite stage. And this is also one of Link's favorite stages too because of how easily he can camp here. Right, but right. you have so many different recovery routes you could take from Fox because of that wall jump to mix up and avoid the ledge traps here. Right, right. This is definitely shades of uh, the top 10 uh, saltiest moments in Smash. Uh, Ling Ling camping Captain Awesome on Kalos for seven oh minutes straight. Oh my god. Oh definitely my god. <laughs> no stranger I, to that. That was, that was I, I, I still remember that. So Who could forget it? We're still there. Yeah, we're trapped in that moment eternally. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to open chat just for a second. No, no. And, and the first thing I see is she calls me Gordo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the homie, whoever that is. I think you waiting for this. Oh, my God. All right, so Light Dying first. Ling Ling taking a little bit of an early lead, which you love to see. Love to see. Maybe have some more sets, some more games to be had. I, I gotta stop looking at chat. Um, uh, okay, I gotta stop looking at y'all. Are all out of pocket right now? Is Ling trying to catch a victory somewhere in the back of his pocket? If he can find something, all get right. pull out every trick he's got to get himself back into this game. He's already pulled it to game five a few times now after going down. That's such a frustrating situation when you are fighting against the spacey player. It's a necessary check. You have to make them do the tech, but they never miss. Like 99% of the time, they never miss. You gotta do it for that 0.1%, of course. But it's tough. It's tough. Also, I think 0.1% of the time, yeah. Fox dies everywhere else, but not here in Kalos. No, not like, Kalos. That's another benefit to Fox here. He gets to live forever. Even though Fox doesn't have all the best kill options right. on the side because of back air and stuff, he's not also dying super early for just being that light. This is also a comfort pick for light, to be fair, as well. So as good as the stage may be for Ling, it's kind of just kind of tough because like light just loves the stage anyway feels so comfortable the wall jump gives some extra routes on recovery oh hold on trying to poke at the dare not going to be it but up till the forward air yeah, 183 right now you do not see fox living this long but very often this is kind of yep. looking similar to wow late hit in air did he start to jump okay he still got back nah, off the yeah. double peach bombers that's actually really smart that Love normally that breaks shield that was so good if you're closer too you definitely could break shield with that but so sad Trying to shark with the up air. We just may get a game five. I, I'm kind of sad that that DDD game had to happen now. When Ling's playing this well with the Peach. Is he trying to pull like the Proto where he intentionally picked a different character just so he wouldn't adjust them? Nah, he definitely thought the DD was gonna work. Yeah. Triple back here though, giving him the cakes. Oh wait, say happy birthday to Devin, by the way. Hey, happy birthday, Devin. Late birthday to Devin. It was right. the other day. Happy birthday. Still, it's always happy. It's always birthday. Big back air, stuck at the ledge yet again. This is a really good game for Ling, but that was a sick parry and up smash from Light. One to one in this last game, and this percentage is nothing. There's one opening from late. Last stock here, yep. game number four. We've seen this position quite a few times tonight, and Ling has delivered every single time at, that he's been put here. We might see another game five here, ladies and gentlemen. See if he can get it as he gets know. the rising fair that usually snipes the jump, but he held on to it. This is tough now, though. Like once Light gets cooking. It's tough, and he is in the kitchen right now, putting the percentage on. Oh, dangerous spot, though. Nair's huge. See what the combo is. Yo, he's so sick. Okay, Nair. Basically even. One more little combo here. That be might it. be it. Yes. yes, it is. Even with the good DI and light. Many pop off, but honestly, hugs, yeah. Hugs out, absolutely. With the run that Link had today, what an incredible sight to see. I am so glad for all of three, the 3,000 of you who got to witness that run today. But he did run into light, able to shut it down and keep himself in the position where he runs it back to back, getting not one, but two CT Gamer Cons in a row. Love to see it, man. Just probably as good as it could have been for everyone involved. Light gets the W, mm -hmm. Ling making the craziest run in recent memory, getting yeah. some wins that he's been looking for for a long time, and some really good wins, some really great gameplay, and some pretty funny reaction images too. <laughs> Yo, we got we got so, so many good ones. I'm, I'm, they're going in a folder for me. But if you weren't putting Ling in the best Peach conversation before, because there are so many great ones, you need to start including them now. Well, after that run today, you know we have we have new days. We have the other peaches. So many other yeah, ones that are eluding me at the moment, and I'm sorry. So many of but them. But yes. now with Ling, with these recent performances, with that glitch pre local, with his runs at majors now, and even today, even though this was a Connecticut regional, this was still a stacked one at that. You saw what he had to get through. So incredible run from Ling getting second place, Light getting first, XL going down in third, and of course Tilde. 
pocketing that money at fourth place. But we got to do that after having not only the CT Classic duo here on top eight for casting, but we got to cast literally the classic for the weeklies that we see every week with Light versus Ling. And honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better uh, everything. Frankly, the bracket yeah. was sick. Loved, loved casting with you. House on production. A recipe for success, honestly. So thank you all for joining us mm -hmm. for the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. And we'll catch you at the next one. Um, if you need to contact us for any reason, uh, here's me on Twitter. Yes, and also, you know, very specifically to contact me. Yeah. Someone send me that clip of what he said because I'm gonna make that like don't. my text. Don't do that. It's gonna be my my like sub notification. Actually, don't. Devin, I, I, I need that specifically. So please send that to me. But thank you once again for everybody tuning in tonight. Uh, like you said, you can find both of us at our ads below. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to everything that is House of Three Thousand. And of course, we all hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We'll be seeing you soon.